Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new Game Maker tutorial. Today we're doing a really awesome lighting system that I you might have seen in uh, my live streams if you watch those. You can see some, uh, there's a picture on the screen right now of what it looks like. Um, and I'm actually, I think it looks great. I've been using it for a while now. I saw it on some tutorial years ago. If someone can find that tutorial, let me know. Um, but I've just always copied it from the same project. Um, over and over and over so if yeah if you find the tutorial that is like this let me know um, but today we're doing a really cool um, yeah lighting effect as you can see and it's actually not that complicated it's only a few lines of code uh, so well, first things first I'm gonna create an object and I'm gonna call this obj underscore uh, lighting you, you can make this uh, lighting control light control something like that doesn't matter but I'm gonna just call it OBJ lighting and I'm gonna have no sprite for it and I'm gonna create a, a create event and I'm going to go to control and drag in some code and I'm gonna say global var light which makes a global variable called light and a global variable is a variable that we can use uh, in multiple objects and that's gonna be very very important for this tutorial um, global var light light is equal to surface underscore create view underscore width whoops view underscore whoops view underscore width view view underscore height view so what this is going to do is this is going to create a new surface over our screen so the width of our view and the height of our view um, so it's going to create a surface and it's basically a canvas it's a canvas we can draw onto and it's going to create that over our screen and i'm going to hit check and next thing we're going to add a step event and I'm going to go to control and drag in some code again and I'm going to say surface underscore set target light so if you remember light is the surface we just created so we're basically just telling the game draw it on this canvas draw it on light we're going to say draw underscore set color uh, c underscore light gray so that's basically just going to um, allow us to use the color gray, the light gray to draw stuff. So we're going to draw a rectangle here. And I'm going to say 0, 0, view underscore width view, view underscore height view, false. So this is going to draw a light gray rectangle over our screen. And that's going to kind of give us the dark effect. And then we're just going to say surface underscore reset target. Uh, which is very important when you're drawing with surfaces and stuff. Always reset the target. So we're basically draw it on the light canvas. We're just going to draw a light gray rectangle and then we're good. And then we're done. That's the step event. That's the create event and the step event. We're done. We got one more event to do in this object and then we're basically over. That's how quick this tutorial is. I'm going to add an event and we're going to add a draw event. Surprise, surprise. I'm going to drag in some code and I'm going to say draw underscore set blend mode to bm subtract and then I'm going to say draw underscore surface light view underscore x view view underscore y view and then I'm going to say draw underscore set blend mode bm normal so we're setting the blend mode to bm subtract blend mode subtract and then we're going to draw the surface we're going to draw light uh, we're going to basically let the player see the canvas and of course the canvas right now all we draw all we have drawn on it is this rectangle so we're basically just saying okay let the player see the rectangle um, but we've changed the blend mode so as you can see we've changed the blend mode here so this is light gray and it's actually going to come up as a much darker color that's what's going to give us the dark effect so if it's not dark enough for you you actually have to make this lighter like white and that'll make the room darker it's kind of interesting that way, but that's just how it's always been for this. Um, and then we're setting it back to normal. It's very important that if you change the blend mode, you set it back to the way it was before, so that way you don't mess anything up. But I'm going to hit check, and I'm going to hit check, and I'm going to add a really quick player here. I'm just going to say SBR player. I'm going to edit, and I'm going to add a, I'm just going to do a 32 by 32 and I'm gonna make him this bluey color perfect 
And let me just add some movement to him really quick here so he's, he can move around our room. And I'm going to add a step event. And I'm going to go to control and drag in some code. And I'm going to do some keyboard checks. I'm going to say if keyboard underscore check VK left then x minus equals 5. So this will allow us to move left. And I'm going to do it again and I'm going to change this to right and I'm going to say plus equals and that's going to allow us to move right. I'm going to do it again and I'm going to say up and I'm going to say y minus equals and that will allow us to move up and then I'm going to say down and set this to y and this to plus and that will allow us to move down. So if we hit left, move left on the x-axis, which is left to right. If we hit right, move right on the x-axis, so we move this way. If we hit up, move up on the y-axis, and then same with down. So pretty straightforward. I got lots of videos on that, uh, so you can go and check that out. Um, but now this is, this is the most important part um, because, well, let me show you what we have first so far, and then we'll jump into the most important part. So I'm going to make my room 640 by 480 and I'm going to make the background this greeny color and I'm going to add my player into the room and then I'm going to add the lighting into the room and I'm going to hit play and if you do this the first thing you'll notice here is when this pops up is that the room is darker um, except the player isn't and that's because we haven't told lighting to draw on top of everything so what we need to do is we need to go into lighting here and let's change the depth to negative 999. And in Game Maker, depth is basically layers. And the lower down your number is, the more negative your number is, the closer to the front of the screen uh, it will appear. So if we put lighting at negative 99999, it'll basically appear at the very front. Um, so it will allow us to, if you see here, and we run again, it'll allow us to draw it on top of the player. So now the player is dark as well. So you can see the room is dark and it kind of is a nighttime effect, um, which is what we want. That's exactly what we're going for. But how do we make it so that the player has some lighting to him? Well, it's actually uh, pretty straightforward. Well, I say, I say it's pretty straightforward. You'll see in a second here. Um, but what we have to do is I'm going to make mine a torch, but you can make yours uh, whatever you like. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to, you know what, actually I'm not going to make a torch. No, I'm just going to do it in the player, because our player, let's say our player just has some light following him always. Because um, you might have a game like that, where you want the player always to be able to see a little bit. Um, but perfect. So, let's add an event, and we have the step event, but we're going to actually add an end step. So this goes after the step event, and it basically does it last. I'm going to go to control, we're going to drag in some code, and there's a few things we need to say here. First off, I'm going to say size is equal to 128 and that's basically going to be the size of the light around our player um, or your object like your torch or something and then I'm going to say draw underscore set underscore blend mode to BM subtract as you have seen before and then I'm going to say surface underscore set target to light so once again let's draw on this canvas and then I'm going to say draw underscore ellipse underscore color now this takes a few variables here um, but it's similar to the rectangle it needs an x so we're going to say x minus size divided by 2 minus view underscore x view so that is 1x and we're actually going to do almost the same thing we're going to say y minus size divided by 2 minus view underscore y view okay <laughs> and now we're going to do it again almost we're going to say x plus size divided by 2 minus view underscore x view and then we're going to say y plus size divided by 2 minus view underscore y view so that's quite a lot, isn't it? Um, but don't worry, it's just it's just to make sure that it all works. It works fine and it looks good around our player. Um, but now we need three more things. We need two colors and whether we want an outline or not. 
Now I'm going to make my color orange, just because it gives it a bit, bit of a torch effect, even though I'm on the player. I'm going to say C underscore orange. Um, but you'll want to, yeah, you'll want to pick a color that kind of works with your player. Um, you could make it white, you could make it blue, you can make it aqua, it doesn't really matter. Just do whatever you like. Uh, but make sure that the second color is C underscore black. So your first color can be whatever you want, but the second one has to be C underscore black. And then we're just going to put false. That is a long line of code right there. But we are not done yet. Of course, we have to do a few things. We have to reset the surface like we did before. We're going to say surface underscore reset target. So that way, it, you know, it's a safety thing. We're going to draw underscore set underscore blend mode BM normal. So we're resetting the blend mode. So we're drawing an ellipse and we're going to be drawing it around our player. So all this math makes sure that basically just make sure that our our ellipse is drawn correctly. It's drawn the way we want it to. And everything else is perfect. So just make sure that this color is whatever you like, but the second one has to be black. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to center my player. Um, you center your player because that's of course that's that's where it's going to draw from. Um, so if the player is centered, then of course the light is going to be more centered. Now in my game here, you can see that I have a light around my player. So I can move around and the player is going to follow the light. Now if I want to, I can go and make the size bigger. So I can make this, let's say 360. And my light, as soon as this boots up here, is going to be much bigger. Um, but it kind of lights up the room. It gives it a cool effect. So if you have a torch um, that is lighting up a certain area of a dungeon, let's say, then this is perfect because it will only light up this certain area. And that's exactly what we're going for. Um, but I hope uh, you can use this in your game, and I hope this is helpful. If you guys have any uh, questions or any features you want to play along with it, I don't know, you want a flicker effect or something, uh, let me know and I'll get on that as soon as I can. Um, but thanks so much for watching, I hope you learned, and I wish you all luck in whatever you're doing. Happy deving.